Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the rebranding of Styler AI to Design. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. As part of my daily routine, I was checking my Gmail when I noticed a new newsletter from Styler AI with the subject Styler is now design. I was completely surprised and wondered what had happened. I opened the newsletter and read that Styler AI is undergoing a rebranding process and is now accessible at design.ai. In this tutorial, we will explore this change. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know that I've previously created several tutorials showcasing the features of Styler AI. Styler was an art generator an online image editor that I used extensively. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel and review these tutorials. My first concern was about the current URL of this AI. I entered the previous URL, stylar.ai. A new window opened, stating, Styler is now design. I closed it, realizing the previous address was still accessible. So, it was time to log into the site. I clicked start for free, but a new window appeared with a go to design.ai button. I clicked on it, and the site with the new domain design.ai opened. I clicked start for free again, and now I could log into my account. The conclusion is that the previous domain is still accessible, but for logging into the user panel and using the services, you are redirected to the new domain. After logging into the dashboard, you are greeted with a new panel and interface. Note that I've recently created a new playlist called AI News, where I cover events in the world of AI, and this video will be included in that category. In this video, we will only do a brief review of the AI's rebranding, and in the next tutorial, I will definitely go over how to use the new features and interface in detail. One positive aspect of this AI is that after creating a user account, you receive some tokens for free, which you can use for its services, displayed as a number in the upper left corner of the site. On the main page of the user account, there are two sections, start from an image and create a new project. In the start from an image section, we can perform image-to-image -image processes and online image editing using generative AI. A bit further down, you can see the projects you've recently worked on. Below that, you have access to the generative AI section, which lists important features like image-to-image, text-to-image, and enhance. Let's create a new text-to-image project. To do this, in the Create a New Project section, click on one of the canvas sizes, here 16 colon 9. Before entering the new project, a pop-up called What's New informs you about one of the latest updates of this AI, called Multi-Person Face Match, which we will cover in future tutorials. In the middle section, we have the Canvas and Workspace. On the left side, we have the main features of Styler AI, now called Design. Features like Text to Image, Image to Image, Enhance, Insert Object, and Face Repair are arranged on the left. From the left menu, click on the Text to Image button. A text box for entering prompts is displayed. To demonstrate the text-to-image process, I have a prompt prepared in advance that I paste into this text box. I click on the No Style label, and a drop-down list containing a large number of styles we can use to create the image appears. I choose the realistic style. By clicking on the Advanced section, we access the Negative Prompt option. With the Negative Prompt, we can prevent unwanted elements in the image. I click on Generate. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short while, Thumbnails of four images are displayed in the results panel. When I hover the mouse over these thumbnails, larger versions of the images are shown for review. I double-click on the image I am happy with to add it to the canvas and workspace. One of Design AI's tools is called Enhance. With this feature, you can improve the quality of your images. Let me show you how it works. The image on the canvas is selected. From the left menu, I click on Enhance. I set the strength parameter to high. Now, I click on the Enhance button. After a short while, the enhanced process results are displayed as before and after images. I use the before and after slider to review the images. With this method, you can enhance the quality of your images using AI. By clicking the place on canvas button, we exit the enhance environment, and the image is placed in the workspace. I click on the export button located in the top right corner of the image. A drop-down menu appears. From the file type section, I set the image format to JPG. I click on the download button. This way, we can download images for free and have them on our devices. 
Additionally, the image resulting from the enhanced process appears as a thumbnail in the results panel. When I hover over it, the images are displayed in a larger size. Let me also add an interesting point. In the text to image process, four thumbnails were generated, and we can create different variations of any of them. Each thumbnail is assigned a number, and to create variations, I click on any of the numbers labeled variation below the thumbnails. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short while, variations including new images based on my selected number are generated. I hover over the new thumbnails, and the images are displayed in a larger size for review. Let's move on to the image to image feature. The image created by the text to image process is now on the canvas. I select it, and click on image to image from the left menu. I click on the no style label. A drop down list containing a large number of styles to create the image is available. I choose the flamenco dance style. In the text box, I click on auto prompt. With this command, Design AI analyzes and describes the image, inserting the result as a prompt in the text box. I increase the style intensity parameter to maximize the style's effect on the image. Now I click on generate. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short while, Thumbnails of four images are displayed in the results panel. When I hover over these thumbnails, the images are shown in a larger size for review. I double-click on the image I am happy with to add it to the canvas and workspace. From the right menu, I click on the Layers tab. In this section, each image has its own layer, and using the Show and Hide options, we can review and compare different images. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you'd like me to continue with the AI news topic, please leave a comment with the words AI news and I'll keep going if there are enough requests. Also, please rate my teaching style from 1 to 20 in the comments. Many AI tutorials are on the way, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated and not miss the next tutorials. The future is in the hands of AI. Embrace it today. See you in the next tutorial.